My wife told me one night, she said, Sean, I'm going to bed early. I left some food on the stove. Can you put it away before you go to bed? I said, sure. There are four pots on the stove. I go to the refrigerator, I make room, and I put each pot neatly into the refrigerator. I put the food away. She comes down the next day, goes to the refrigerator, sees that I put the four pots in the refrigerator, and says, why did you put the pots in the refrigerator? So the point he was attempting to make is that women need to be more specific when they're asking for certain things from their partner. And I feel like that's a disingenuous argument. I think this is weaponized incompetence. You did the job technically, but you didn't do the job effectively. Now, it's one thing if you saw when she put the food away, she put the pots in the fridge. But if you knew that she usually puts the food in Tupperware bowls, she usually runs the pots with the dishwasher, like you know her usual process, why would you intentionally do it wrong? I know why you did it. Because because you wanted to do it badly so she'll never ask you to do it again. But since you like examples so much, let me try. Let's say you're super tired and you call home and you're like, are you making dinner? And I said, yes, I'm making dinner. And you're like, okay, that's fine. You pass all of these fast food restaurants, all of these other options, and you come all the way home only to find that on the counter, there is a frozen lasagna that takes two hours to cook. If you wanted me to preheat the oven and put it in there and follow the instructions and bake the lasagna, why didn't you tell me? Why weren't you specific? These are the same men that claim they want to be leaders, but need a step-by-step -step tutorial for left.